Here we have Neil. So, the first part, see where your hands are ending, it's just really close to your head, sometimes even uh, behind your head. So that was the first thing we worked on. And the second thing we talked about was uh, your strokes crossing over, crossing over the center line. And later on in this video, you see how, how much smoother it looks when you enter your hand further ahead, of, further out in front of your head. And uh, you started to think about the crossing over as well, and that looks a lot better. The body position is good. Could be uh, your hips and legs could ride a little higher in the water, but as your as your momentum increases, they'll float up more, they'll streamline better. In training, it would be okay for you to use a pull buoy to uh, maintain good body position for now. Here you can get an idea of your rotation. Rotation is pretty good. And your streamline is also pretty good. So you can tell the streamline if your if your body was swaying a lot side to side. Yeah, so on the surface part of the stroke reaching farther forward and eliminating the crossover are your, your big things there. On the underwater portion, we'll take a look in a second. So underwater, the big issue we wanted to address was how how much your hand and your forearm swing in under your body. Uh, it's a little excessive. You can get better leverage if you, if you leave your hand and forearm somewhat outside the line of your body. So when you pull, make an attempt to just pull your arm straight back. And then if you feel like you're getting that well, then you work on the high elbow catch where your hand and your forearm angled down vertical early in the stroke yeah but what's going on when you're when your forearm pulls in under your body you just give up some leverage that your your lat is your main mover for swimming and if you pull in under your body you wind up switching more to uh, bicep and uh, pecs which are strong but they're not ideally placed for the swim motion Now here we had talked Even about further. extending yeah, further, further in, so that, that lap there was it just, was, was. you were trying to extend further, and I stopped you there, and I said, okay, I want you to extend even further. And so here you go. This, this is a lot smoother if you want to rewind the tape and look again at the beginning. So your extension looks better. It appears to me like you're covering more ground with each stroke just by improving your extension there. So I think this one was another one just thinking about extension. Thinking about trying to make sure your hands enter farther out in front of your head. Still a little close here. Your, your hand can enter the water up to 12 inches or so in front of your head. And then some one-arm drill. This one's a great one to work on all sorts of mechanics issues as well as strength building.
So at this point, we talked about the underwater pull, trying to keep that forearm from going so far in under your body, your hand and forearm, and you were doing uh, good extension as well. This looks a lot better. The f hand and forearm there, still pulling in farther under your body than I think is necessary. So at the beginning of the stroke, you start to start to get the leverage from your lats and then you, you sort of give it up when uh, when that happens. So high elbow catch again. Here, you're just thinking about nice, nice long extension, sort of a catch-up drill. Yeah, and that's catch-up drill. So catch-up drill, you want to focus on good extension, hyper extension, getting the most out you can out of each stroke, as well as a good catch, a high elbow catch, early vertical forearm. So when you do the drill, you don't necessarily need to go fast. You just want to work on the proper mechanics. And then this is after everything. So great reach forward. Keep thinking about what your hand and forearm are doing. There's going to be some natural pull under your body as you rotate over as the opposite arm comes around. You just don't need to, you don't need to do the S pull that you were taught. The S pull winds up with just excessive motion. But if you watch, go back and watch, you know, the beginning and then watch this part again, and you can see just how much smoother you look. Um, Swimming smooth by itself is uh, not going to make you faster, but it does improve your streamlining. And then if you can work on all the other technical aspects of it. So extension, high elbow catch, pulling this arm straight back, and keep swimming. Keep doing uh, three times a week if you can.